So while the Infinity UR devs were standing there with thumbs up their asses, Sledgehammer Games was like, we are listening to the feedback. We are gonna do something good. But listen, man, today we got a lot more conspiracies. Everybody's talking about it. We got toxic gamers. We're gonna be checking out a video from the homie Blaine Truth. We're gonna find out when he is about to sell that retard helmet that you probably already know, you know what I'm Bruh. saying? And we're gonna be getting into this video. The conspiracies are out of hands right now. Everybody's going off. Everybody's talking about a skill-based match. We're getting in fact, the devs did say they're gonna be removing it though. They did say they're gonna remove skill-based matching. Is that really true? Let's talk about it. Like this video, subscribe if you're brand new. Let's go for five likes on the video and roll it. As far as I'm concerned, this is probably happening because uh, Activision has proved yesterday that they are complete scumbags who are hiding things in plain sight. Speaking of hiding things in plain sight, I'm 99% sure I don't get aim assist when I aim through the cockpit here on uh -huh. uh, the terminal plane. They oh, wow. completely butchered this terminal plane. I went back and played some MW2 OG to some private games just to see how badly they messed up this, this plane with the midget door and like outside you'll hit your head <laughs> Yo. going in the back Yo, ramp. Ding, 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 ding. Time out, time out. Yo, why do you hate my midgets, bruh? Yo, shout out to my midgets. Where are my midgets at? <laughs> Right now. I need my I need my midgets gang on this one, bro. I'm a fight fight for y'all rights, okay? Like this video, bro. We support midgets life. Midgets lives matter. As a brown man, we support midget lives, bro. And also as a brown man, I demand online to be free for PlayStation and Xbox. Like the video if you agree. Thing that didn't happen in the OG. Uh the cockpit's completely ruined. They added some weird like center console with collision. Yeah. And the windows are tinier. Apparently, you lose aim assist. It's, it's just a mess, dude. It's I mean, they're just trying to make it hard for you to be able to fly the plane. Though, you know, they know that suckers are gonna be learning how to fly a plane by playing Call of Duty, so they don't want you to be able. Because, like, listen, right? Like, just the other day when we were catching those cheaters, we had Joel. He was like camping his ass off. He was in the cockpit. The amount of time he spent in the cockpit, I bet he knows how to fly a plane. And to be honest, though, not gonna lie, guys. The amount of time Blame Truth is spending here, it feels like that he's gonna be able to fly a plane too, bruh. Mess. Oh, and, and if somebody could tell me what happens here, I, I've used the Strela and the Pila, and it will not lock on to UAVs. The only thing that locks on launcher-wise is the Joker. Your aim is terrible. You need some cheats from Nadia. Look at this. Look, what? Huh? Huh? I can mark it with Engineer or whatever, the Engineer vest, and I'm like, uh, is it locking on? And the Joker hits the ceiling in Terminal, like, constantly if I use that. I... But um, anyway, conspiracy theory stuff. Uh -huh. After yesterday, seeing Sledgehammer do the AMA, and like I said, yesterday, before they even answered any questions, I was like, they're not going to cover these SBMM questions. You know, they're just going to ignore those. And they did. They ignored True. every single one of them. I think that thread had like, I think it was like 5,000 comments. And I, I'm not <laughs> kidding when I say that. The most upvoted. Dude, everyone was talking about skill based matching. And in the history of all mankind, we have never seen that many people talk about skill based matching in ever. And quite frankly, I gotta clap up for every single one of you out there because y'all suckers took it in your own hands. You're like, we're gonna talk about skill based mastering. I'm gonna flood in. We're gonna go in. We're all gonna flood in. And we're all gonna flood in indeed because everybody flooded in. Everybody went in with their complete. I wanna talk about skill based mastering. Where is the skill based mastering? We wanna know. We wanna answer you about the our skill based mastering questions. We want you to remove it. Everybody started talking about it. We had threads, we had articles written on it. In fact, even I made a video on it. And then Sledgehammer My Balls, they came out and they did say they're looking into potentially disbanding the disbanding lobbies, which aka means no skill based management, but they never directly talked about skill based management, but they indirectly did say that. Oh shit! Yay! Oh, shit. But uh, listen, man, Infinity Tart also did say the same thing last year, but nothing happened. So, well, something happens this time. Let's find out. And the most comments were about SBMM. Everyone was ignored. So, yeah, that should just tell you all you need to know. They ignored Marksman. They, they ignored Marksman. I mean, uh, the guy with the most upvotes, the guy with the biggest. I mean, YouTube who cares about Marksman? They even ignore you guys. Yeah! They ignore everybody! They ignore oh my god. all my homies! Oh my god! Bro, they don't even give a damn about Marksman, bro. They literally ignore everybody. All of you. All of uh, Like, myself included. All of us combined. Channel. 
the guy who cares about the game, and then the next thing I know, I see Mark's been uploading a video about him uh, reverse boosting, or just partying up with a, uh, a bad account and then having it uh, back out, which is what I actually did in this gameplay. I partied up with a bad friend of mine, a not very good friend of mine, like a .7 KD guy, and then I um, had him back out, and this is one of the weirdest lobbies I have ever seen, so it's really hard to actually reverse boost in session join anymore. Dog, come on, man. Like, bro, like, don't be like the homie K3 Korean Savage and drop, like, a nuke on the handicap chick. Y'all remember that? Y'all remember that? When Korean Savage, this was like in the early days of when skill based matchmaking was brand new. Okay, when it was brand brand new, when suckers were finding out, you know, there was always used to be that talk, skill based matchmaking isn't real, skill based matchmaking do not exist. And there were suckers that believed in skill based matchmaking, there were suckers that never believed it, they didn't even want to believe it. If you were gonna talk about skill based matchmaking, they would ignore your ass, they would lit it was liter literally like. Like a poly, a pol it was, it got into the point where, where it was complete AIDS, it was complete politics. Like, it's were like, nah, bruh, like, you just, you are retard, you need to be locked up in a cage right now, okay? You need to be locked up. But guess what? Fast forward to now, everybody believes in skill based matchmaking. And, and back in the days when, you know, in the early days of skill based matchmaking, we had Korean Savage, he used to reverse boost, right? He still does, everybody does. Like, guess let's be real, okay? All the streamers are reverse boosting, which is not a crime, but most of the streamers are also cheating, though. You know, that's the thing that we, you, you know, that's the thing we, we were like, yeah, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go in, we're gonna go in, right? But here's the thing in the early days, Korean Savage uh, reverse boosted. And he dropped a nuke on a handicap check, though. You know, there were articles on it that Korean Savage drops a nuke on handicap check. I mean, damn, that that was crazy. So you really doing the same blame truth? Huh? It, they have some weird Q thing, so that it messes with it. But, like, you can just party up with somebody, and then it'll kind of oh, lower that? your overall, you know, um, skill bracket or whatever. This is the weirdest match you'll ever see, though. And I, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna let it play out. Uh... But anyway, back to the topic of skill-based matchmaking oh, real finally, quick. Bro. Sledgehammer did one good thing in that AMA. They said something about they're testing out uh, removing the disbanding lobbies or whatever. So there's that. And everybody's like, you know, very, very happy about that. But guess what? Uh, I've heard that shit before. Yeah, we were yeah, lied yeah, to. Yeah. Straight up. There we go, boys. Bumble oh, my God. We heard a lot of you on this banning lobbies. We're working on a few tweaks to increase the chances of lobby staying together and improving the UI when it happens. Yeah, in Urdu guys like last time but literally they said this last year that they are gonna be, you know, we heard you loud and clear that we're gonna do some about disbanding lobbies. We are working on a few tweaks, but they never worked on those tweaks. They never, or maybe they did work on those tweaks, but the the outcome was like train go boom. The outcome was definitely like uh, if if we add if we do that disbanding lobbies, uh, if we actually do the how the games you should have been and how games used to be where you know lobbies would not disband you would be in a lobby you would stay in that lobby till you quit or till those players quit it was always like that but the reason it's not is because of skill based matchmaking in every match you play after every match disbanding lobbies exist because they are you know analyzing your performance in game oh, shit. Oh, yeah shit. they're analyzing like how many kids you're gonna have what's your frequency like well if you're gonna be able to continue your bloodline or not you play five games Sega's know your entire history they know your entire bloodline so yeah this is why disbanding lobbies exist and uh, you know what they they said that we're gonna actually drop that we're gonna make sure it's like normal where lobbies do not disband but they never did that maybe they found out that hey if we do that well uh hey, 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 skill based matching and it's gonna be removed and they never did anything about it by infinity Sadly. ward because this never happened and was never spoken of again i think they'll do the exact same thing here because it's tied to skill based matchmaking it wouldn't surprise me if it's not even a real human being writing these responses they just Probably, write yeah, out what we want to hear and it's coded in that this robot is coded just to never talk about skill based matchmaking it does not exist and that's a great segue into the next portion of this video oh, wow. bots awesome. and conspiracy theories. Yeah. 
it starts with this new post from Call of Duty, all right? Just look at this. Just look at this image and tell me this isn't the... I, it's, it's, mm, I just can't buy it. I just cannot buy it. Just, just look at this, guys. Look at this. So Call of Duty, as we oh, all know, will bro. never miss an opportunity to bro. suck their own dick. If they're yeah. not in the shape of a saxophone, they're just not happy, clearly. So here we yeah, go. Yeah, this is something we talked about like the other day, man. These are like more hours played per oh, player overall, guys. It's better than Modern Warfare 19 and Modern Warfare 2. Man, this is such a bullshit, <laughs> bullshit statement. These are, listen, man, like hand on top of this bottle of water. I do believe them when they say this. Stop the cap. But there is like a different standard they're following, okay? Emergency meeting real quick, okay? Listen, we all know that Modern Warfare 19 sold very well. Modern Warfare 2022, I believe in the first week or first 10 days, it even surpassed the sales of Black Ops 2. Crazy, I know, okay? Suckers don't want to believe it. Suckers are like, bro, like, uh, oh, I'm gonna wear that retard helmet that Blame Truth has been reporting. You cap and nah, st nah, bro, straight up. It sold very, very well in the first 10 days. Uh, if you compare Modern Warfare 2022 with Black Ops 2, it sold the best, okay? So, I believe when they say more hours per player overall in Modern Warfare 19, Modern Warfare 2022, I don't want to believe if these things say uh, the same about Modern Warfare 3 because you know the player counts are really really down. They have combined Warzone, Modern Warfare 2022, Modern Warfare 3 at least on Steam charts and all three games combined and it's uh, guess what 100k players. 100k players playing live. The, the, the last time I checked. That is very very low. That is absolutely pathetic these numbers are crazy low for a game like call of duty now these numbers sure they are amazing for other games like indie projects and in a nutshell the numbers are very very good but for call of duty these numbers are terrible and if you're gonna say more hours played per oh, player overall then mm, it's uh, it doesn't feel uh, that 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 realistic right but i'm pretty sure like these suckers are using this uh, th they're talking about the average player per hour right player uh more hours played per player overall i know p p p p, 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 p. here there's a lot of p words there but these suckers are for example right modern warfare 19 modern warfare 2022 seconds on average might have played for let's just say 30 minutes and Modern Warfare 3, despite the low player count, Suckers might have played for like 31 minutes and they're like, okay, you know what? Yeah, boys, we kill, we killing it right now, you know? Seconds are playing more per hour. More uh, players are playing more per hour. I'm having a tough time actually read this one, but you feel what I'm saying? Another, <laughs> another just self-flagellation post from them, but this one's weird. It's, it's, they've always kind of done this, but this is egregious. And one of these things I just don't think is, is true flat out. I, I, the math just does not make sense. All right. Let's, let's yeah, look yeah, over yeah. this. Seriously. Let's go over this with a fine tooth comb here. More hours per player overall than Modern Warfare 2019 and Modern Warfare 2. So what that means is that more players are playing longer. It doesn't mean that they have more players. It means that the average player is playing. Yeah, exactly. And these things didn't even reveal the sales count, though. <gasps> yeah. They did not reveal, at least as of right now, they did not reveal the sales count, which is, uh, and they already know, like, the sales count is so down. Let's not reveal it, okay? Our investors are not gonna like it. This game longer than the previous Modern Warfare 1 and 2, which isn't a very good metric when you think about it, because it means that the players that quit playing the other games, they sold better than this one, uh, it means that they got ripped off and duped. They probably bought it and then, like, I don't know, played five hours and then quit. Also, yeah. that's a weird metric. Like, is that counting uh, just from, from the past 11 days of, of all the games? They're not going into detail with it. It's just a very strange metric. Yeah, it's like and they also say Modern Warfare Zombies is the most engaging third moon in hit Modern Warfare history. I mean, bruh. Of course it is! Of course it is! Because Modern Warfare 19 had spec ups and modern warfare 2022 had spec ups and don't get me wrong i like spec ups i love survival in the original modern warfare 3 that came out all the way back in 2011 but this ain't it okay modern warfare 19 modern warfare 2022 that's being made by the new infinity tar team three years three thousand devs get them all okay Obviously, bro, obviously you cannot, com zombies cannot compete with spec ops, or I should say spec ops cannot, my bad, bro. Spec ops cannot compete with zombies, you feel what I'm saying? It, it just cannot, obviously zombies is gonna be the most, uh, played campaign players, putting in more time per player, wait, what? Campaign players, hey, yo, what? 
camping players putting in more time per player in Modern Warfare 3 than the, the, the previous two installments. That is straight up cab, bruh. Stop the cap. That is straight up cap. Ain't no goddamn way that Sega's played this campaign more. It's only three hours, bro. There is no way, bro. I, 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 there's no way that is true. Now, if they're not outright lying about that, I mean, it's really think about this. Really think about this. Like, the campaigns for the other Call of Duties are, are, are roughly twice as long as this new one. And this new one's just been getting crapped on, straight up. So, most people play the game once and then they're done. Maybe twice they'll go through it, you know, like once on regular difficulty and then once on veteran or whatever, and then they're done. I just don't buy this at all. There, there's just no way a campaign this short is getting this much replayability, playtime, whatever. But before I turn into Scott Steiner here and keep rambling about numbers, uh, if they're not outright lying, which I don't think they're outright lying, I don't think they're faking these metrics or whatever. To be honest, like that's a good point because I also would um, say that they're not lying because... Uh, yeah, I know, I know, guys, I know, I know, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Bruh. But the reason I don't think they're lying is because if they lied, they're gonna be lying to their investors, and investors are their real and actual customers, though. So if they lie to their investors, they lie to their. <laughs> they always lie to the fan base, guys. That's perfectly fine, right? Toxic gamers, whatever, right? They lie to the toxic gamers, they lie to their Call of Duty fan base. Don't care, don't give a damn. That's their motto, okay? But they just cannot lie to the investors though, because if they lie to the investors, they're gonna be a whole lot of legal trouble, they can be sued, they, they're always getting sued, let's be real, but you know, the lawsuits are gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger, and the frequency is gonna increase tenfold, so they just simply cannot afford that. So they are finding these weird loopholes, uh, weird standards, not disclosing the, the actual numbers, sales numbers this time, they're like yeah man it's uh played it's played the most just plays the most but now we have actual conspiracy i believe all the evidence that something really weird is going on roll it first this is the modern warfare 2 subreddit just description and i mainly want you to look at the members there three million subreddit members no other call of duty game has even come close to this one as far as subreddit numbers like even the official cod warzone uh, subreddit numbers are like a million it's very bizarre you're a toxic gamer bizarre uh, you've probably heard me talk about this before if you're a fan of the channel, you never miss an upload. I've talked about how I believe this has been botted. I've talked about this, I think, as long as, uh, uh, you know, eight months ago or whatever, even. Like, I, I truly believe that these subreddit numbers for Modern Warfare 2 have been botted. Most likely- Y'all think they actually bought it? Yeah or nay? I don't think they bought it because, like, Modern Warfare 2022 was the best-selling game, at least in the first 10 days. It was the best-selling game, guys, because a a a a a a a a a a I I know, guys. It probably was because it had the friendly UAV online, guys. Probably because of that, guys. By Activision, and I, I just I don't know. Like Cold War, for example, I think that has like seven hundred thousand members or whatever. And Cold War was a big. That's a big Call of Duty. Like, Treyarch's Call of Duties are, are yeah, a big true, deal. True, 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 and the true. fact that, like, this one has over triple, like, nearly four times as much, if my math's correct there, uh, member wise. But the game has had. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. Like, it is hella suspect, but but still, though, I I don't know, man. I feel like that. But anyway, yeah, I believe this has been botted. So, okay. with that in mind, let's move on to this weird comment I got the other day. So this person says, I had something weird happen during a multiplayer match on Derail earlier today. The gamer tag was F-O-G-X-G-I-R, and this person just walked, and I mean just walked, no sprint or tax sprint. He got the background music, so this is why I'm gonna stop mine. Around the map. They also never killed anyone or even fired their gun. They came right up to me like four times, and it was a free kill for me every time. The way they moved around the map looked like bot pathing, very robotic, and had no game sense at all. They never seemed to react to anything around them. Also, the rest of the enemy team wasn't very good either, but at least they shot at and killed me a few times. The enemy team was comprised of little Timmies, and what I'm 90% certain was a freaking bot, and my team had all decent to good players, myself and one other especially, since the two of us went above a 3 KD that game, and the rest of them were either kissing or broke 2 KD. It was really bizarre. I read this, and this is this is kind of a weird thing to say, but I read this, and I got chills. This was on my one of my videos, I think it was like two days ago or whatever. I read it, and I kind of got chills because it's kind of creepy, isn't it? Just the way he describes it, it's kind of creepy. Now, one could say, like, ah, it's just somebody, like, reverse boosting or whatever like they're just walking around dying to, to reverse boost and maybe maybe you're right but i started thinking more about it and i was like you know what 
we've covered in a previous video. We, we've covered the fact that <laughs> David. <laughs> man. Farewell to the legendary David Wanderhar, man. Even Wandy quit, bruh. Even Wandy had enough. Even Wandy was like, bruh, I'm getting too old for this shies. For this bullshies, uh. Shies. I'm gonna peace out, and yeah, guys, he definitely peaced out. Like the video for the homie David Wanderhar because Wanderhar is uh, is the goat, guys. He's the goat. Wanderhar Sendoff from like the Call of Duty Twitter he was most out, likely written by ChatGPT, and, and I even put even it in that? like a, a, a checker or whatever, and it came back like there's a 60% chance this was written by AI. Bruh. <laughs> and all the responses. Bruh, 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 bruh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this video is certainly not made by AI. Click on this video on the screen. These things were caught cheating. This is one of the biggest video of the cheaters. They were caught live. We have proof. And these things also got banned. Uh, even on their Twitch channel. Not just in game. They were banned in game. But also got banned by Twitch. Click on this video on the screen. And I will see you right there.